Every day, the RTD's buses and trains carry more than a million passengers. Making those trips pleasant and secure is the major mission of the RTD's transit police. Chief of Police is Sharon Papa. In law enforcement, most police officers like to focus on the major felonies, and they want to take the, the big gangsters to jail, so to speak. Here, we will focus on quality of life, to take care of the people who are smoking, eating, drinking. It may seem like a minor offense, but to a passenger, if they get on board a bus and people have their feet up on the seats and they're smoking cigarettes and they're playing loud radios, the perception is things are out of control, this isn't a safe environment, I don't want to ride this. So our officers understand that and they're going to be out there enforcing that. As fully trained and armed as any law enforcement agency, the RTD Transit Police face some unique challenges. Patrolling the new Red Line subway means applying law enforcement to a totally new Southern California transit environment. A constant problem is vandalism and graffiti. Buses are tempting billboards for the work of graffiti vandals called taggers. Far from an innocent prank, tagging costs Southern Californians more than $1 million a month. The transit police are hitting back with a special undercover detail the Graffiti Habitual Offender Suppression Team, or GHOST. His identity hidden, a GHOST officer has a message for taggers. With a graffiti task force, there could be officers on the bus at any time. Um, we don't let everybody know when we've made an arrest. When we take somebody off the bus for vandalism, we don't want to uh, burn, that's the word we use, our cover. We don't want people to know who we are for the next time. So we do it very quietly and discreetly. A lot of times even the bus drivers don't even know who we are. So just because you don't see us doesn't mean we're not there. The RTD Transit Police emphasis on quality of life issues is evident in everyday services, from helping with a lost child to operating a foot patrol substation in the heart of a major downtown Los Angeles transit corridor. This is RTD's Mob Squad substation. Sergeant Letitia Delgado is in charge. Mob, which stands for Miracle on Broadway, is a footbeat detail, and it consists of nine officers. Um, our boundaries are normally from 3rd Street to 9th Street, and our main function is to, to do that, to walk the footbeat. We also ride the buses. In walking the footbeat, we contact merchants, we contact bus patrons, we contact bus operators. We want them to know that we're here to assist and to help. We want them to have a sense of security. We want them to know that we're here. Is it working? Director of the Miracle on Broadway Merchants and Property Owners is Estella Lopez. She has the last word. Since they have been on the street, believe me, the, the presence of that uniform has meant a great deal. It has given this community a sense that the transit operator, the RTD, really cares not just about the movement of people, but also about how those people feel about being a bus customer, about how they feel about the quality of service that the RTD gives them. Um, it makes them feel that it's more than just getting on the bus that RTD is concerned about, but the whole riding experience. You know, Joseph, I've truly enjoyed this opportunity to see the real future of transportation in the making. I've enjoyed it too, Nichelle. I think you're really going to like the next edition of Transit 2000. We're going back to Toronto, Canada to see what it takes to keep commuters satisfied in North America's mass transit showplace. And we'll also introduce you to the new Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transit Authority on the next edition of Transit 2000. Well, beam us up, RTD. Ready? We're ready. Bye. Bye-bye.